So uh, moving on, number two, according to the Ronin, I'm going to say these names now and y'all going to have to, you know, uh, suffer with me. Um, a a line Bonetto. Uh, sure. 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 <laughs> uh, sorry if I said that wrong, will be the production designer of Rogue Squadron, the upcoming Star Wars film directed by Petty J Patty Jenkins. Now, mm -hmm. I am super hyped for Rogue Squadron. So, um, you know, this this team is no, most known for their work on the uh, Wonder Woman um, character. And so where do you sit on this? Is it do you care first off? And like, where, where does it land for you? Yeah, my I mean, it's cool. I, I like Wonder Woman. I, I like both films. You know, obviously, for me, the second one wasn't as good as the first Wonder Woman, but I'm good with it. You know, Patty Jenkins is super talented. I'm not surprised at all that she's bringing in talent that she's worked with before, especially mm -hmm. from the Wonder Woman uh, character, because those films have been overall very successful. So I think this is just one of the first names that's coming down the list of people that she's going to bring in for this Rogue Squadron pr project. It, it's not for me. It, it's not something that just like gets me absolutely pumped or stoked, but I like it. You know, like you said, yeah. it, it's pretty cool. It's good to hear. I mean, um, I agree that the Wonder Woman movies, the first one is, way better than the second one in my opinion i yes. hot take i didn't even finish the second one the first Dude, time i really? was just like this is horrible i i hate this this is so i, I do have a lot of uh and so trash but a lot of things with one woman 84 that drive me crazy but i did push through it only because it was like the first big film that came out post yeah. covid and you know all that but yeah i i mean i eventually came back and we we taylor and i finished it but she was right there with me of like this yeah. is what the crap because wonder woman one was so good i yeah. thought um but that being said they're both good enough that the team behind it you can tell i just it'd be good to keep them going right mm -hmm. um it, one one thing that i thought of uh talking about this is breaking bad um i love breaking bad i don't know if i've talked about it on here before but it's like probably number one for me in in my favorite mm -hmm. I, I won't lie um and the reason I bring them up is when they went to Better Call Saul, a lot of the same team stayed together. Mm -hmm. And I believe you can feel that because it's very high quality as well. Now that has to go with writers and everything, but if they can keep the mesh going and the mold and they know how they work with each other and it just keeps the machine lubricated, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It, I think it probably makes, Patty Jenkins is trans transition into the star mm -hmm. Wars franchise a lot smoother, you know, just yeah. that familiarity. Exactly. That's a big part of it. And I thought that's why it was important to bring up because it, it just, if, if it can make her feel more comfortable and do a better job, then I'm all in like, yeah, whatever it so takes. Before we move away from that though, mm -hmm. I know you alluded to that. You were very excited for Rogue squadron. Yes. You want to just share some thoughts on Rogue squadron? Cause I don't think we've shared thoughts on that on, this podcast think, in a while honestly we haven't really talked about it. yeah we haven't really talked about it at all um yeah. i i gotta say i'm super excited about this movie and mm -hmm. with patty jenkins like she's legit okay like yeah. you you got to give her some credit i feel like it gets I, I was trashing her with wonder woman 84 but i overall i think she's still legit and i am excited to see what she can do with rogue squadron because um, in some interviews, she's talked about how much, like how passionate she is with Star Wars. You know how all these, yeah. everyone's been <laughs> affected by Star Wars. So all these filmmakers that are getting to work on it now, they're kids in the, in the sandbox playing with their Star Wars. Mm -hmm. And that's exciting as a fan because I want to feel the love, right? I love it and I want to feel the love. So if you tell me it's going to be freaking fighter, like, dude, come on yeah give it to me i love it yeah and it seems like she knows quite a bit as far as potentially the back or, or the bones of piloting and things of that nature because that the announcement video that they released she revealed that her father was part of air force and it was, he was sick yeah so i think she, it's it's very passionate for her, this project and i think she's gonna release that and give everything she's got into it so i'm very excited just for that alone but mm -hmm. also i think it's gonna be like top gun meets star wars and i'm here for it if if they tell like if that's that's all they gotta say if mm -hmm. they come out 
and someone's like top gun meets star wars i swear it will go on my anticipated list like yeah. it's already high but that's exactly what i want when you tell me a rogue squadron is the name and it's going to be about freaking x wings and all kinds of crazy stuff yeah if it, if you can make it feel like top gun oh my god like thank you and i want it to be a little grittier too personally mm-hmm. like i want it to be kind of edgier because mm-hmm. i want i want the pilots to be I, I don't want it to be like a a, a kitty like ha 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 kind of a thing i want it yeah. to be kind of you know a little bit rogue one ish really mm-hmm. if, if that's where my mind goes because if you're talking i mean that's like people killing other people and stuff right it's pretty yeah heavy already so no i would i would agree with that take i i would like to see like a rogue one vibe um Mm -hmm. like you said more gritty but yeah i I don't really have anything else to add to that as far as what i would expect for that because i don't really have predictions for it yeah exactly far away from it other than i think we're gonna see some very cool shots i can't wait to see it in theater let's go in theater Hoorah. Um, all right. That, that's all we got on that one. Just thought it was, you know, worth bringing up, especially Rogue Squadron. We haven't really talked about it, and I feel like it's worth talking about. So uh, 